Hi guys, uh, Cody and Brady from Go Hunt. Uh, these are Sue Ray tripods. We uh, we get a lot of questions about uh, the the Sue Ray brand, and um, yes, in fact, uh, the the way that the pronunciation has been said to me was Sue Ray. I get that so, all the time. Well, I, and I I get it say, said said a hundred different ways. Yeah, I always say Sue Ray. And I always think of Sun and Ray, and I just Sue, Sue, Ray. Sue Ray. So that's the way that they pronounce it. So. Um, that's the way I'm, I'm doing it. Um, but I, I, you know, we've got a couple different groupings of tri or three different groups of tripods here. You know, I have the ET series, you have the ST series, and then you have the T series, you know, with the SK. And uh, I just wanted to take some time and, and break those down for you and, uh, and, and go over them. And, but this is the, the general lineup in their, in their compact form. And uh, so it should give you kind of an idea, you know, versus against bodies. Um, and, and how they stack up kind of uh, against each other. These two Sioux Rays are, are, are typically, without a doubt, uh, two of the more popular models, um, partially because they're, they're excellent pieces of gear, but they're also economical. Mm -hmm. They make a lot of sense price-wise. They come as a kit, um, as a lot of the Sioux Ray products do. Kit meaning you got the legs and you got the BA5. That's 100% correct. So you got the, you, 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 like this model here is the T004SK. Uh, it is a, it's an aluminum tripod, um, but it also is fitted with the VA5 head. And I think what you'll find is, even in my recommendations, I have, I, I'm in love with the VA5 head. Um, it's a lightweight, uh, you know, ultra lightweight compact. Um, it sits just over a pound. I mean, to be really, really fair and honest, like it, for 199 bucks, this tripod does really, really well. Twist locks, aluminum, you can hang weight for it if you want, from it if you want to, um, but you get the VA5 head. And so, you know, at 190 bucks, people say, oh, you know, is this, you know, like how expensive is this tripod? And I would just tell you that, you know, because they're, they're, um, they're you know, they're together as a kit, they just do a really good job of giving you a great value of a, of a solid tripod for an entry level tripod and, 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 and just a really an outstanding head in the, in the industry. Now, what, I'll explain to you, like this is probably one of my favorite tripods. I've ran this tripod for a lot of years and I still run it off big optics. Like I'm still running my 115 Sora with the BTX sure. on this setup right here. Yep. And I was able to fully handle it. The VA5 head's amazing. This leg combination is really nice because I'm saving a little bit of weight in my backpack as well. Yep. A little more compact so I can easily just throw it on the side of my backpack. I could throw it inside if I needed to in some of the straps. 100%. The, just the, the caveat is, is that anytime you go lightweight and you go real heavy optics, you're going to suffer a little yep. bit, but that's why you can always hang you know, stuff from the, the hook and settle things down. Mm -hmm. And But that's the thing is, is that you know, when you combine this up, you know, the, 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 the circumference of this tripod it's just not overwhelming. Yep. Slides in and out of your pack easy. Um, does a great job. We should mention too on the naming system on Sue Ray, mm -hmm. the last number is how many leg, leg it basically has. So this the, is a four, so it's a yep. four leg system. That is correct. Same thing over here with the SK. It's a yeah. So if system. it's three, you're going to have. And when I say leg extensions, you know you're going to have one, and then it's two, three, and four. Okay. So that's. That's the number that you're seeing there. And I don't know if everybody saw that, but that's, those are pretty easily yep. you know, t uh, deployed and retracted pretty easy. And I always like too, it's like a quick and easy way to do it, is grab them all at one time and just loosen them. A hundred percent. And the same thing, to go back yep. up, push them all the way, and just give one hand and twist. So it's Correct. really easy. And that's why I, personally, I prefer twist locks over flip locks. Twist locks are easier to keep clean because they're kind of doing it themselves. They're either open or closed. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, you know flip locks tend to be a little bit noisier, tend to be uh, a little bit more temperamental as far as weather and dust and yeah, the dust and thing. things getting them in. So you got to clean them out a little bit more. Um, these get uh, certainly don't get hung up in packs um, near as much, um, really hardly at all. Um, but this model here, guys, is the the T zero two four SK. Arguably, probably the most popular tripod um, that we sell. What are the main differences right now? Uh, really, when you when you when you look at both of these, the main difference is that this is carbon fiber, this is not. So you get a little bit more you know dampening yep. out of this. 
um, there's not a giant weight savings, and you know, uh, we'll get into those later. Um, but again, outfitted with the VA5 head. This one retails for you know uh, $300. This one retails for $200. So um, both of them incredibly you know uh, well-rounded, excellent values uh, that do a great job. And you know, for all intents and purposes, will do most of the work that you would need to have done. Um, you know, with tens, twelves, fifteens, you know, uh, uh, spotters, mm -hmm. um, camera work as well, uh, digiscoping. So, uh, you know, they'll, they'll do a really good job for those, for yeah. sure. Another similarity, too, between these two, they both have the same angle system for yep. the legs. So you it's can articulate. It down, move it up, pop it Absolutely. up. Absolutely. It does have, you know, three, three sears in there that, you know, keep it at a certain level. So when you do like that, go like this one, you can move it up, and it locks in like that. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's different levels of how far those will go. So uh, another quality about these is that if you extend the center post all the way up, you can, oops, you can invert these. Um, it will shorten it, but it does create a bigger um, uh, uh, profile at the top. Have you ever done that method? I always I, keep them like I, this and just drop it down. I, I just don't. That way it's it, quicker it's, for me to start glassing. Yeah, I just, I, I tend to have it exactly like I want to pull it out and start and deploying legs. Mm -hmm. So for me, I just don't do it that way. I think maybe because people travel with them, like if it, if it was like in an airplane or I was oh, putting yeah. in a carry-on carry -on, or especially. whatever you're doing, that I can totally see. But as far as putting in your pack, I try to leave it like in this condition because I can, I can pull it out, deploy everything quickly and, and, or, or retract it real quick yeah. too. Another thing I mentioned, mentioned too that we just talked about on our podcast we did. Yep is they both come with levels right here on the truck. A hundred percent. And I feel like that's something that's kind of overlooked a lot of times in a glassing. The trying to can get, be seen, but You don't have to get your tripod perfectly here. level, but we're, as we're talking about, when you're sitting there glassing, set it down, you could reference that really quickly. That way you're not glassing off on a little yep. pane on the side at an angle. That way you can actually glass square and you can start gridding a little bit easier. So that's kind 100%. of a cool handy feature. It's right on the tripod, easy to reference when you need to. Yep. And you also have it on the VA5 head as well. Yep. So again, you got the, the, the T024SK with a VA5 head that, that retails at uh, 300 and then the, the T004SK with a VA5 head that retails at, at, uh, at $199.99, but it's you know, 200 um, Excellent tripods. Uh, give it a shot. If you have any questions about them, give me a call. Again, an, another pair from Sue Ray. Uh, this is the ST series. This is the ST125 and the ST124. Brady, they, you know, these are the replacement tripods from some older tripods that are no longer made. Um, you know, God rest their soul. <laughs> There's a couple of them we really liked. Yeah, we, but, we did the video back in the day, Trail and I talking about something new that was coming. Oh, oh I know. And we got a million questions <laughs> from it. And I, we've still, actually, I still get questions to yeah, this we've day. We've never actually done the follow-up video. So if you guys remember that video, this is the tripod that we were talking about that was coming. Yep. That is an awesome tripod. I've actually been using this exact one right here, the 124, this last and spring. I'm going to continue to use it this fall. I use it on my bear hunt. It's just an awesome all-around tripod. Yep. I love how steady this is and the added weight, especially with the heavier optic. It's been a game changer for me. Well, and the, and the notice is, is that these have, they have a, a bigger diameter leg on them. And so, and one thing that most people don't really realize in, in this is the, 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 uh, the, um, the center post is triangular. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when you lock those up, it, There's no it, chance for it, to move it really dampens and has less movement in it than, than other tripods in that same fashion. Um, I think they did a really great job with these. I mean, these are high quality carbon um, and, and they're, you know, it's, it's eight layer carbon. Um, the, the five series, you have, you know, the five different sections again, they're easily deployable. I mean, they, they just do a, a really smooth job at doing all that together. And, you know, that works really, really well. Um, but I think as an all around tripod, these really, I think they kind of stepped up a little bit mm -hmm. from where we were because these tripods, you know, have really good stability with a, a, a I mean, all the way up to the BTX 95s and the heaviest spotters, you could use these with uh, for twin, you know, spotters oh, yeah. that are out there in the market today. 
Um, there's a lot of uses for these. I, I tend to kind of put myself in between, um, you know, medium size and weight tripods because I prefer the stability, mm -hmm. you know, without having to hang, but you can hang uh, yeah. weight from the center post if you like. It's a little different weight hanging system. It, it than is. The other ones. It's always deployed in a way. It's yep. not spring loaded anymore. It's got there. a little set pin in here and it's really, you know, you can, you can take these off. It will accept other uh, attachments, you know, in the, in the camera industry, but for hunting purposes and what we do and, and just simply weight, you know, weighted uh, uh, bags or backpack or whatnot, it, it really does work really well in there. Um, they've got a little bit different system with these. Um, I do prefer the, that system, this one right here. I well, just have to pop it out. With gloves and everything, I, I like the thumb presses, mm -hmm. but I don't mind having these out so that I can decide exactly how far I want to go with it there. Yep, I think it's a little so, quicker, yep. easier to use. And like you said, with gloves especially. So, And the other um, the one difference too that I noticed a lot is on the bottom. You actually can just twist the bottom cups. Uh, yes, and, and that does. And you have a little spike come out. So you actually can it, dig into the terrain, yep. you've got some rocks, and you want to just hold that tripod on there. You can yep. use little spikes on the bottom. So that'll do that too, for sure. You know, you've got two excellent tripods, middleweight. Um, you know, you've got two different sizing to choose from. Um, fact is, is that they're both excellent. They're both at a great value. Uh, there's no distinction between f price because they're both at the 350 mark. Um, but again, you're getting heavier duty legs. You're getting, a, you know, it, it's a little bit thicker. Um, so you're going to be able to add more weight to it. And again, the value too, you, you get the, the, the Suray VA5 head. Which is the best head on the Which, I, 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 I mean, opinion. for all accounts and everything that I've used over the years, um, it is absolutely one of my favorite heads, period. Um, you know, I own like four of them now, and uh, I just can't say enough about it. So, Can you uh, quickly explain to me what the waterproofing system means on <laughs> I always just think in my head, well, what does so waterproofing mean? If you notice, and this will do it, there's, they, they just don't want... It's a little tighter gasket wa Yeah, they just don't want anything getting waterlogged in there because if you, if you happen to be doing a shoot and you're in water... Um, it's you probably going to help uh, prevent a lot of dust from uh, probably going up in there too. 100%. The idea is, is just not to get all that you know, caught up in the legs gotcha. and add weight and and then cause some form of deterioration, mm -hmm. you know, because of, you know, th the moisture hitting it directly. So yes, that, that is, that is the system. Yeah, because you always see it on there, and I know I get questions on quite a yep, bit, but. Absolutely. Yeah, these two are pretty awesome tripods here. Okay, guys, so, um, you know, we've gone over a couple different uh, pairings of, of tripods, and, and this pairing from Suray is the ET series. So, um, so like the movie, ET? <laughs> phone home yeah. um the obvious thing about this really should direct you towards the legs and the fact that these are flip locks versus twist locks so um, we'll go into this a little bit more and flip locks are are tactically they're, they're really easy to deploy you can you can deploy them super simple like that um, i will tell you that when you're sliding them in and out of your pack um, things get caught in them. Um, generally speaking, they break more than, um, you know, than, than twist locks by far. Mm. So I, I would just tell you that, that I like, I, I really do like flip locks and certainly for when you have big gloves on or those things, they, they really can, um, you know, save you a little bit of time. It would be a good they're preference just in like a, a late season hunt. Maybe. Yeah, they're just a little bit more maintenance required yeah. and because i noticed too you can uh you can adjust the tension you can adjust the tension you want them to yep. clamp a lot harder but just over time they need to be kind of airbrushed and wire brushed once in a while or mm. not wire brushed but a nylon brush mm. um but the flip locks you know they, they sometime down the road they they may get to squeak if you haven't cleaned them out you may notice sometimes they, they squeak a little bit yep. and and i would just tell you that um, if you clean them up and blow them out with air once in a while, you really won't have that problem. Be careful with them when you're pulling out of your, your, your pack and getting it caught in straps and, and those things. But um, the fact of it is, is that there's a lot of people that like flip locks, mm -hmm. just simply because of the way they deploy and attract super simple. So the differences between all the other tripods, it, the main difference is the fact that these are 
uh, flip locks where the others are twist locks. The, the leg diameters are, are similar, the, the, like this 2204 is, is similar in diameter to the, to the ST124 and 125. Okay. This gets a little bit more um, closer to uh, like, you know, the smaller tripods, you know, the T-series. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, it, they're, they're, that's the biggest difference between these um, other than the fact that this one you have the ball head. So again, these are, th this would be the, if you don't mind for a second, there, Mr. Brady, um, you have the, the 1204 with the VA5 head versus the ET2204 with the VA5 head. You're getting a little bit smaller leg diameter, less weight capacity, bigger leg diameter, more weight capacity. You're at 350 retail, you're at 300 retail, and then for the ball head version, you are uh, 260 retail. Now, ball heads, certainly lighter weight, less space. Um, they do have a, a knob here, if you can see that, that allows you to, to be able to pan left and right. Um, that is a, a savior of the ball head because if they didn't have that, um, they probably wouldn't get used even as much as they do now. Yep. Um, the weight capacities are, are, are good on, on ball heads, um, but I, me personally, when people are asking about glassing and being methodical, again, I, I, I'm not saying that right versus wrong. I'm just saying that, that ball heads are a way to do it but I will always go with the stability and the butter smooth adjustments of a, of a pan head, mm -hmm. like a fluid head over a, a, a ball head. Again, lightweight, compact, super simple, but I will always take the weight and the, and the stability and the butter smooth movement of, of, the, of the VA5 head. I would 100% agree. Like this is gonna be your lighter setup? Yep but you're going to have to definitely know how to maneuver everything and get a yeah, lot of I mean, practice, it, I think, with it. it. it you, you just have to, that, that ball is, is set with this tension here. And so, you know, it, you have to play with that. And it, it, you have to kind of understand that at a certain point, your hand becomes the steadying factor versus, you know, when I set the tension on a, on a VA5 and I set it for the proper weight, you know, I can get it in, in to go wherever I want it to go. And, it, and it's going to do that you know, excellent with a, a variety. You're gonna get to a certain point with this that the heavier optics, you're gonna require more of your hand, you know, steadiness yep. Makes to, sense. To, to make that, that happen. So again, um, you know, these are, are, they all have hooks on the bottom. Um, they're, they're just great models. Um, if you like the flip lock, this is, you know, this is certainly a good choice for you. And again, these are a little bit different too in the angles again. They're yep. a third style now where it's, you have to push it the whole time while you move Correct. it up. Where the other ones you can kind of push it and set it. And then yeah, move it, it it's much more like the, the, you know, the, the original uh, T004s, but yep. this, was the, this was the aftermarket of that. So, or aftermarket. Mm -hmm. so, awesome tripods. Though. Awesome tripods. We sell a boatload of them. Um, and, and quite frankly, it's nice to have the, the decision of do I want flip locks or do I want twist locks? Yep. So choose whatever's right for you. So Brady, that, that rounds out the Sioux Ray tripod, you know, uh, stable that we carry. Um, super proud of the brand. They've done a great job. Uh, they continue to, just to be rock solid, um, you know, when we're, when we're doing this. Um, you know, with sales and, you know, customer service is good. Um, you know, anytime we've ever had issues, problems, concerns, uh, the, the, you know, their, their service department has, has been spot on with helping us out. Um, but the fact of it is, is that they're just good, well-rounded tripods that do the job, period. Yeah, from a hunting perspective, yes. all of these up here are going to serve your needs very, very well. They're pretty much, I would say, an office favorite around here. A lot of us are running Sioux Ray. I, I would say the majority. Yeah, majority of us are running them. Yeah. So and they just they just work flat yep. out work for glassing. And again, I think you can see the overwhelming majority of the VA5 heads. So, you know that is an incredible value with these tripods. Um, you know, I, I would just tell you if you're interested in a kit tripod that you know gives you a ton of value and 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 really, you know, just wor real world experience in the field, they work. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with any one of the models. So Brady, you know, how are they going to get a hold of me? If, All if right. They got to ask questions.
Yeah, so if you have any questions on any of these tripods we just ran through right now, definitely drop them in the comments below on the YouTube channel. Uh, Cody will answer them. Myself, I can jump in there and answer them. If you also have direct questions, you can always reach out to Cody at optics at gohunt.com. Shoot him an email. Cody's a wealth of information. Like I always say, you guys need to take advantage of his knowledge.